So Apple iOS 12 was released last week and we finally have the full general release of the Apple Shortcuts. This is a app that you're gonna have to add in addition to your phone. And that kind of makes sense for me because this isn't ready for everybody yet. So what does Shortcuts do? It allows you to customize Siri actions and that does include HomeKit actions, which is kind of nice because now you can finally nest multiple actions together and do things like turn off lights and play music if you're going to bed, things like that, right? This does require you to turn on personal requests on your HomePod. And it's important to understand that it runs from your personal request device, which means it's not quite 100% there yet and not ready for prime time. Let me show you why. So if I create a shortcut on my iPhone 7 and I call it just get device details, and all I'm going to do is say, hey, get me device details. That's it. When I play that on my HomePod, this is what happens. Get device details. Running your shortcut. Shortcut says Christopher's iPhone 7. So you can see that I'm running this on my HomePod, but it's still actually telling me the device details name is my iPhone, which is going to be a problem. Uh, because if I do something like this and say, hey, play, get this playlist, and I want you to play it at night, it's going to play on my phone, not on my HomePod, which is, of course, um, not what I want. So the other thing, like I said, you can do is you can add in additional um, devices in there and ad additional actions like I want to play this music and I want to turn my bedroom lights off, which is just enacting that master bedroom bedtime scene from the home. So let's see what happens when we do that. Hey Siri, run nighty night. So this is actually running on the phone right now, not Running on the HomePod, and okay. there we go, lights are off, Done. but there's no music. So this isn't ideal, but I'm sure Apple will get this fixed in the future. The way to fix it right now is with AirPlay 1, not AirPlay 2. So you're going to go into your phone, you're going to um, the bottom swipe up into your control center, and you're going to stay on your iPhone, so you got to make sure your iPhone is selected and you're gonna select your master bedroom or whatever your HomePod is you wanna play on um, as a speaker. You don't wanna select the HomePod as the control device. You want this to be on the phone itself. So now let's look at what happens when we do this. Hey Siri, run 99. So the lights are not gonna shut off again because they're already the off, so that's cool. And we should hear in a couple of seconds the music start. There that's we done. go. That's done. And there the music starts, which is what we want it to do. So this is definitely not ideal. It's an oversight at best, and I'm hoping Apple will get this fixed in the future. What do you guys think? Is Shortcuts something that you guys are using? Um, are you doing anything creative or interesting with it? Uh, something you can't live without? Let me know in the details below. You got any questions? Of course, I will do my best to answer those. Likes are always appreciated, shares as well, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to learn how to make your house just a little bit smarter using Apple HomeKit, please check in the video details where there will be a link and a coupon code to my Udemy course.